A very good morning to dear scholarites. Our next topic from the chapter number 5 birds is common features of birds. Okay? You have seen birds, different type of birds are there having different color, shape and size, structure. Their feathers are different, their colors are different, right? So today we will discuss about what are the some common features of the birds. First is feathers of birds. All the birds are having feathers that helps them to flight, right? So birds look beautiful because of the feathers they have on their bodies. Feathers protect them from harsh weathers. Birds have three types of feathers. What is the work of feathers in the bird's body? It helps them to protect from the harsh weather by providing them warmth and comfort. Okay, so three types of feather we will study. The first is Contour feather, second is down feather and the third one is flight feather. The contour feather that is a very very nice designed, right? So it gives a different shapes and colors to the birds. Down feathers are very very soft and small and these helps to the birds to keep their body warm. And these down feathers are present at the below portion of the body of the birds. Third one is down feather. Down feather look, this is a down feather and you know well in ancient time this feather was also used by the people in order to write any letter. Okay, and this flight feathers helps the bird to take a higher low flight. Okay, so these are very long and strong feathers and helps the birds to fly. Come to the next. Birds have an oil gland. Okay, as human being. Birds are also having some oil glands at the base of their tail and this oil they use to take care of their feathers, okay. They use to oiling, cleaning, reshaping their feathers using their beaks. This is called preening, okay. The, and the process of cleaning, oiling, reshaping the feathers through beak by the bird is known as preening. So come to the practice zone 2, identify and write the types of feather. So the first is down feather that is a very small as well as very soft and helps them to keep their body warm. Second is flight feather. Flight feather helps them to fly. Okay. And these are very long as well as strong. Next is contour feather. Contour feather. Look its design. It's really very nice. It gives a beautiful shapes as well as colors to the birds. Second question is, how do birds take care of their feathers? Birds take care of their feathers by oiling, cleaning, reshaping their feathers using their beaks. Because oil glands are present there, that's why they use that oil in order to reshape or oil or clean their feathers. Uh, right now we have studied about the feathers. Now the second topic is beaks of birds. Now you have seen the birds. They are having different type of beaks also. Some are having long and cylindrical beaks. Some are having small beaks. Some are having uh, this type of beak. And uh, some are having hook beak. Right? So these all the beaks are due to their adaptive nature of feeding. So strong and pointed beak in which it is present, it is pre present in woodpecker. Have you seen the woodpecker packing the wood, right? And there, they are having a pack beak, okay? So that they can make a hole and by making hole, they can try to find out the insect over there to eat. Second is short and hard beak. Look here, this is short and this is very hard, very strong beak like sparrow, pigeon, hen. Okay, they, this beak helps them to eat seeds. The next is short, hard and curved beaks. That is parrot. Have you seen eating, food eating parrot? How it eats? There is some voice when it used to eat because it cracks the uh, food. First of all, it uh, it used to crack the nuts, seeds and also eat the pulp of the hard and unripe fruit. Okay. Next is broad and flat beak. Duck, swan, they are having broad as well as swan. Uh, also having a broad and flat beak in order to catch the fish. Next is hook beak like eagle, vulture, all. So these are the birds. These are having hook beak in order to capture their prey strongly. Okay. Now let's move to the feet and claws of the birds. 
birds have different type of look here different type of feet they are having this is a woodpecker's claw okay uh, whereas this is the webbed feet that is present in duck and swan and this is the eagle's claw very very strong so uh, in the sparrow we have seen the three toes are in the front and one at the back and woodpecker are having four claws one two three four two facing forward and two facing backward this helps them to easily hold the branches of tree uh, webbed feet helps the duck or swan to float easily or swim on the water easily and claw this this type of toes helps the eagles to hold the animals on which they feed or that is also known as prey so i hope that you have understood the chapter thank you